out of business. You didn't do that. You didn't build that. Somebody else made that possible. Yes, I'm quoting Barack H. Obama, and now he's back throwing it in everyone's face. As soon as I got off the air yesterday, I looked up at DrudgeReport.com uh, with horror because it, it just shows how arrogant uh, Obama has gotten. And there was the Real Clear Politics video of Obama yesterday that had just gone up. Uh, I saw it when it had like 30, 40 views right when it had gone live. And there was Obama right when I got off at 6 o'clock yesterday at a commencement speech at a major university saying that we shouldn't think of government as something that's dangerous and filled with tyranny. Of course, it was George Washington that famously said that government is like fire, a dangerous servant and a fearful master. It was Ronald Reagan that said the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. And another one, uh, in this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problems. Government is the problem. Let's, let's play a clip of Ronald Reagan from 1981 uh, with those famous words. Here it is. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. By the way, tonight on the Nightly News, I'm going to get some Ronald Reagan clips. I'm going to host the news live tonight, by the way, 7 o'clock Central. Uh, I'm going to get some clips of Reagan and Ron Paul and others versus Obama. And you can say what you want about Reagan, what he actually did. The special interest got out of control and government got bigger. But at least the rhetoric was good. With Obama, I, I mean, you've got a guy making sure that billionaires don't have to pay taxes while lobbying to have people that make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year to pay more taxes. Why do you have billionaires lobbying for that? Because most of them, like Warren Buffett, make their money out of government bailouts. I have an article here where uh, profits were up 49% uh, for Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett. And then they admit in the article, like it's no big deal that, oh, by the way, Warren Buffett got most of that off derivatives that were propped up with taxpayer money. Of course, that pig, that anti-gun globalist eugenicist, Bill and Melinda Gates, number one Obama supporter, of course, that pig blocked the Keystone Pipeline to bring oil into Texas for the whole U.S. out of Canada. Because he owns the trains that are going to now bring it via tanker to the West Coast and put them on super tankers to China. These people are doing everything they can to shut America down while making giant profits out of a controlled monopoly. What's Atlas Shrugged all about? It's about where ultra-rich use government to shut down their competition. I mean, crony capitalism is the plague, is the enemy. And now we've got Obama at a sports stadium full of young people saying government is not tyranny. Government is our sweetie cake. Government will, will now take care of us. Yeah, it'll take care of you. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system. But check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com the clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro filtered sports bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever popular grab and go back favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, Pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter. Rockwell, the head of the Von Mies Institute, is going to be joining us to track uh, the incredible world events with gold, with the dollar, with the EU gyrating out of control, plunging into an authoritarian death spiral. That's the uh, creator of the euro is now saying that, saying that it's going to totally collapse uh, into a tyranny. Uh, Ron Paul and others talking about uh, Europe collapsing as well. Ron Paul is in Europe right now. We've got some clips of that. We've got the unprecedented spectacle 
of a 27-28 month war against Syria using al-Qaeda jihadis now culminating with Israel bombing uh, chicken farms, military installations, bridges, uh, chemical plants, uh, and Syria is there uh, laying down and taking it, and the media is denouncing Syria as warmongers and saying they deserve to be absolutely carpet bombed uh, for doing nothing. And uh, Israel is publicly siding with NATO uh, and, of course, al-Qaeda uh, in those operations. Syria says that Israel airstrikes risk a wider uh, conflict. They're blowing up military barracks, uh, you name it. Uh, tr desperately trying to get a response. And then if Syria responds, the news will say that Syria has preemptively and premeditatedly started the war first. And we'll go, wait a minute, for over two years, the West has been attacking them, including a NATO-backed uh, Turkey with, with three-day-long artillery barrages. It doesn't matter. That's how dumbed down the public is. All they know is they're foreigners, so kill them. That's all they know. And you've got the neocons giving Obama right cover, saying, how dare you not be tough on Syria? When Obama has been able to attack Libya, Syria, overthrow uh, uh, Egypt and put all these globalists in power. I mean, this is hardcore what's happening. So we're going to be looking at that as well. Also, I have announced and I do plan to go to Bilderberg 2013 in England. Over 130 people are blocked from entering England. Basically, uh, they mix in a lot of patriots uh, in with uh, real terrorist groups and others. Michael Savage has been banned from going into the country. Uh, I don't know if they're going to ban me. I've been to England before. Uh, but if they do, that will just become a media event as well. I would rather actually get over there, cover it. People are always asking me to go to England. We're very popular in England. Uh, and I like to cover Bilderberg. I like to ferret out information. Uh, I do intend to go over there. Alex Jones calls on World Press to cover Bilderberg 2013. You can see my thoughts and points that I made with Paul Watson uh, via... Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com if you want to want to see uh, that article and some of the photos and information there. But I'll be covering that more later in the broadcast. Uh, but Israel's launching more. They're now to two days of airstrikes on Syria. Uh, this is just incredible. Syria attacked no one. Syria has tried to work with the West. Uh, Assad was basically raised in England. Uh, he's been uh, trying to work with the West, trying to make peace deals. And the answer is, no, you're going to be overthrown, and Al-Qaeda is going to be put in charge, and they're going to ethically cleanse the Christians, the Jews, uh, and uh, minority Muslim groups. Syria will choose the moment to hit back. UN accuses Syrian rebels of carrying out sarin gas attacks, which have been blamed on Assad troops. And again, I don't ever think the UN's a good organization. It plays the left cover side created by the Rockefellers. But the truth is, the Al-Qaeda rebels a year ago videotaped themselves testing nerve gas and saying they would use it against Assad. They've been trying to get into their bases to get a hold of it. And then Israel says whether the Al-Qaeda rebels get the nerve gas or whether Syrian government uses it, they're going to strike them because of it. I mean, Israel can't support NATO, the U.S., France, and, and Germany, and England the UK, in a two-plus-year covert war, now Obama announced heavy weapons to be given. And what did they list? Heat-seeking missiles. They've already given them the heat-seeking missiles. And on the cover of the BBC website, they showed a jihadi with a heat-seeking missile launcher on his shoulder that can shoot things down up to 5,000 feet. I'm going to say that again slowly. The West has given at least 10 thousand heat seeking missiles with a range an effective range of 5,000 feet they actually have more than that because I've seen the breakdown of the weapons they were given they've also been given unguided rockets a you know, point and shoot that have an even longer range ladies and gentlemen all they got to do is go to a European airport an Israeli airport uh, a uh, U.S. airport, you can sit back, you can sit back two, three miles from the airport. 
I mean, where I sit is close to the Austin airport, and the planes sometimes come in at 3,000, 4,000 feet. You could sit. I guess I'm like four miles away. You could sit four miles away from the Austin Bergstrom Airport. There it is, Seattle Times. Syrian rebels show off heat-seeking missile. Yeah, that was back in November of last year. That's a year ago. I mean, this is the type of craziness that we deal with here, almost a year ago. And, and, and it, when I fly, they'll say, hello, Mr. Jones, we're taking you over here to grab your testicles, literally. They single me out for extra groping, extra harassment, and they call me Mr. Jones and laugh at me, and they laugh at Jesse Ventura when I fly with him and grab his crotch and laugh and then have the nerve to ask him for photos in Atlanta after they grabbed his testicles in front of me. And, and then Ventura wanted it erased off my phone. He was so embarrassed. He goes, I'm glad you documented it, but erase it off your phone while we sat there at a Mexican food place eating. That's embarrassing. And that was when he made the decision. He goes, I'm not going to fly anymore after this season. And I may get out of this country for good. He began to say, this is East Germany. I'm sick of this. You all know who I am. You're laughing at me. And these women were laughing, rubbing all over him. They had women doing it. I mean, incredible photos. I'm sitting there going, because they'd already searched me. I'm just sitting there with my iPhone. Click, click, click. I had like 30 photos. It was just like out of South Park. Literally. The exact characters out of South Park, the exact voice. South Park must have flown through Atlanta because it was like, let me look inside you. I mean, this is what was going on. It, it was the exact people from the South Park episode. Obese black women. <laughs> I guess here in Austin, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, obese white women. Uh, the point is, is that I sat there and I witnessed it. These would have been Drudge Report material photos. And he said, Alex, let me see you erase them. And I erased them. If you want to see, he goes, I trust you. By the way, Ventura's back in town. Remind me to call him today. I want the time to get him on before anybody else does. I know he's been back for a few weeks. <clears throat> I need to go up there and go fishing with him. I know I'm invited to go fishing. I think I'm going to go fishing in Minnesota, except I don't want to be groped on my way up there. All right, side issue. Yes. You see those women, if you're watching us on TV, that is exactly what they look like. In fact, one of them looked just like her with the hair up. The other one looked like your light lady. I mean, I don't know how they did it. I thought I was in a South Park episode when this was happening. Because that had just come out. <laughs> you got to laugh at this stuff or you're going to have to cry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I mean, I'm telling you, they took their time with Ventura when he really got mad. Because it is a violation when they went behind him with their hands. And then I thought they're supposed to have the same sex search you. Quite frankly, I like a different sex doing it. You know, I mean, I'm not going after women when I get a massage, but I don't have men give me a massage. I've had it one time, and I thought it was creepy. So I like women to give me a massage. It's not even sexual. It's just that, you know, why is it okay that the same sex does it? Like, if they want to drag my son off to a private screening room or want to grope him, it's like, don't worry, it's a pot-bellied guy with a mustache. I mean, I don't want my son being abused, having his innocence ruined by anybody. But if it's going to have to happen, I mean, at least let it be a hot blonde, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, excuse me. Or, or well, you know, Grandma, it's kind of creepy, man. Anyways, the point is, is that, well, why is it okay that you have these women that obviously like women? It's been written about in the press. In fact, that Miss USA talked about her. Was it Miss America? It was Miss USA in Dallas. How the woman was clearly enjoying it. There have been a bunch of good-looking actresses talk about how it's women and how they clearly get excited. There was a case uh, in, in, in the panhandle. Was it Amarillo? Yeah, they, they had to settle two years ago. They had a case in Amarillo where this woman was a knockout blonde, and uh, the men got her aside, made her take her blouse off. And if you don't believe that, folks, they settled the case. And you've seen them take people's clothes off, you know, all those videos online, little kids, old women, colostomy bags they rip off. I mean, you name it. And then they get mad at you when the, you know, I mean, I mean, this is what goes on. And, they, and, and there she was in her bra crying, and then the men swarmed her, it was men doing it, and asked her for a date. And they sued, subpoenaed, got the surveillance footage, and they settled for a big chunk of change. TSA settles with a Texas woman 
Try that article. You can put it up. There it is. Lawsuit, airport search incidents, Amarillo Globe News. Yeah, that's where she sued back in 2010. Uh, they settled the next year. TSA settles with Texas woman. And, and, and by the way, I, I tried to get her on, but they were in the lawsuit, so they wouldn't come on. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Okay, so yesterday, Obama gave a speech to Ohio State University graduates. And this is exactly the speech he's given over and over again that that uh, high-ranking Secret Service uh, agent Bongino had to quit over last year. Where he says, the government is what creates prosperity. The government is what made America. Every philosopher, every historian from de Tocqueville uh, right through to... Oppenheimer, the inventor of the A-bomb, we read some of his quotes yesterday on air, said it is the individual ingenuity unbound by government that created so much wealth. And you're like, well, America hadn't been that free. That's right, it hasn't. But compared to other countries in the area of free market, it has been light years ahead. Light years. And you look at Switzerland, smaller government, light years ahead of Europe. You look at any country where they get out of people's way, the only problem is there's then so much prosperity and so much wealth that the children of the children of the children that made the country great become decadent slobs and then organized crime sets in and takes over. And then you get a big, powerful government and country that's run by crooks, and then it's Nazi Germany time. You get a big, powerful, rich country that goes bad. The U.S. has gone bad, folks. We've been taken over. We're going to make Nazi Germany look like pikers. It's already happened. But our propaganda is so good, and nobody's beating us, the globalists that run us, the parasite globalists that have crawled inside our political brain and wrapped themselves around our, 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 our brain stem. They are so good at their propaganda that that they are able to continue forward, though it's starting to grind to a halt a little bit. So they're doubling down. The world is in an epic crisis. It was George Washington that said, government is not reason, it is not eloquence, it is force. Like fire, it is a dangerous servant and a fearsome master. And I've got, I've got more of those quotes coming up, but, but, but here's Ronald Reagan, two clips from two different speeches, Ronald Reagan gave, uh, here it is. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. And of course, he was quoting Thomas Jefferson there with the far distant elite. We're going to cover that when we come back. But here's Obama yesterday at Ohio State University in a sports stadium packed full of young people because most of the new jobs will be in government or select corporations getting government money, corporate welfare. And here he was telling them, hey, government is the answer, and don't let people badmouth it. Well, the American way is to keep government small. Notice we didn't keep government small, so the prosperity, like oxygen disappearing out of a submarine, is dissipating. Let's go ahead and go to that clip of Obama yesterday. Fortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. Some of these same voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. 
You should reject these voices. We're a constitutional republic, not a democracy. And the government is far and run now. And if we ever recognize that America has been hijacked, that will be the beginning of the end for these people. That's why they're responding to us, because they know that we're getting the message out. Stay with us. They are tyrants. This is the, I don't know, ninth issue uh, of the magazine. It is the May issue. And if you're listening in Central Texas, uh, you're in a very special place because there are 60,000 of these on the streets of Austin, 20,000 on the streets of San Antonio, and another 10,000 or so uh, smattered around uh, in different uh, areas of Central Texas. 30,000 or so are held back to be able to be shipped out to you at cost. You can either buy them in 10 packs up to 100 at cost, or you can get, get a subscription. Gift subscriptions uh, are the way to go because then somebody gets 12 of these in their mail. Great way to wake them up. Big, glossy magazine covering the history of stage terror, the attack on the Second Amendment, the whole police state, uh, how to uh, awaken America. It's all in the new issue, the history of false flags. And ladies and gentlemen, so much more, like three High quality, not paper, but plastic. The big, heavy, petroleum-based that lasts for years. Infowars.com, Save the Constitution bumper sticker. PrisonPlanet.com bumper sticker. And Infowars.com bumper sticker. What a weapon. We're talking, I did the math, 200,000 bumper stickers in Central Texas right now waiting on the free newsstands for you to get them and post them in legal and lawful areas. This should be explosive. I want everybody to go out, get them, post them. And this is a test to bomb other cities with info weapons. Legal and lawful areas, your property, your car, or in commons where people, you know, some bars or areas let you put up stickers or restaurants. The point is, you know, that's like the wallpaper. This is going to be explosive. Infowars magazine, get it today. And by the way, this will sell out unlike any other publication. Uh, uh, of nine publications, we've had six of them sell out. This one is set to sell out, it looks like, in four or five days if it continues. I'm tempted to have more printed, by the way, because they're selling so quickly and have more bumper stickers put on them. So, again, uh, anyways, InfoWarsStore.com is where you can find the subscription to the magazine and everything else. Pro Pure Water Filters, 10% off with promo code WATER. Now, there's a bunch of military news, economic news. Lou Rockwell's coming up. Uh, Ron Paul in, in Chile. Chile is the southernmost part of South America. I don't know why I said Europe. I was reading he's also going to be going to Europe soon, so that's why I, I said that. He's in South America uh, right now. We're going to, um, no one caught that out there, but I, I caught myself. Uh, again, we make mistakes. When we do, I point them out. It's usually I flip things around because my brain's moving so quick. I know that happens to you as well. Uh, but we've got a, just a ton of important info we're going to be covering uh, here today. It's just overwhelming but I wanted to read to you some quotes here. This is uh, from Thomas Jefferson. A private central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army. We must not let our rulers load us with perpetual debt. So that's uh, one quote. And I've got some more of the Founding Father quotes I want to get to. But it's very important to go to Paul Watson's article on Infowars.com. Because it not only has Obama at the, at the speech to a packed group of, um, uh, of young, impressionable minds with the image of a giant jumbotron up above the stadium right out of 1984. But it has the Ronald Reagan speech to counter it. And I'm going to have Paul Watson add some founding father quotes to that as well. But one more time, let's play this Obama speech from yesterday afternoon where he doubles down on, you didn't build that, uh, you know, the state is the answer. I mean, that is North Korea talking. That is Nazi Germany talking. We know historically this is so diametrically opposed to what this country has been based on. You cannot debate that. And the fact that they're involved in this radical transformation, you know, they're telling the military, you can't talk about Jesus. You can talk about anything else you want. Don't talk about Jesus. You have a right to talk about your faith. They're telling school kids all over America, you can't thank God at your commencement. Your commencement is your private statement. You could say, I love soccer. 
I love baseball. I love uh, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, I love Schlitz malt liquor. Uh, I love Gatorade. Uh, I love Parcheesi. Uh, I love Tiddlywinks. Uh, I love gardening. Uh, I, or I owe this all to my dad or my single mom. You know that you know that that, that made me work hard. That I'm valedictorian. Victorian. So call us today or First Amendment. The First Amendment clearly states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. That means government can't be involved. The First Amendment says the government can't at a public school say we're now going to worship Muhammad or we're going to or or the prophet Muhammad, we're going to worship you know Allah, we're going to worship the virgin Mary, we're going to worship uh, uh, a rock. We're going to worship a whale. We're going to worship whatever it is you worship. We're going to worship dogs like the Zoroasters do. The state can't do that. That's what Thomas Jefferson was talking about. And Christians don't even debate this, most of them not here on radio, from the right perspective. They're like, I hate Thomas Jefferson. He was anti-Christian. No, he wasn't. He said, you have a right to practice whatever religion you want and to talk about it. The state cannot have an official religion. And so now they say, oh, troops can't talk about Jesus. Oh, you can't go at your commencement speech and talk about what you want. And that gets to the point where you can't say USA, USA, USA when a San Antonio basketball team is winning. And by the way, they did the math was half Hispanic, but the other team was more than half Hispanic and thought, because I guess they identify themselves as Mexicans, not Americans, that that was against them, when all it is is the chant everyone does when they're feeling good now. I, I think it's quite mindless. I mean, I would chant USA, USA, let's play some more of it, if, if we abolish the Federal Reserve, if we arrested David Rockefeller and Henry Kissinger for crimes against humanity, if we restored the republic, if we got rid of the IRS and the income tax that goes to the private Federal Reserve, if we educated people that vaccine science is real and may have some benefits for artificial immunity, but that the globalists have been caught adding stuff to it and are involved in a eugenics program to cull the herd and lower IQs. Uh, if, if, if we stopped using the Monsanto BT corn and stuff that kills the bugs that eat it, but then we're supposed to be able to safely eat it when it grows its own pesticide as a pharmacological crop. If that ever came out, and instead of us going from 1 in 25,000 with autism to 1 in 51 now, and people being brain damaged and illnesses everywhere from, from BT corn, and there's a big study out on it today, and if we started reversing the trend and it was one in 10,000 getting autism, I would say USA, USA, USA. When we win for the Second Amendment, when we reverse tyranny and restore what makes USA, USA, USA something worth chanting. But you don't chant USA, USA when the police lock down 80% of a city and come into houses and grab women who don't even look like the reported puppet uh, Patsy and throw them down the stairs. That's when I chant USA, USA, USA. But I'm now digressing. Imagine Obama coming out and saying, if you got a business, you didn't build that. And then he wants a civilian force just as big and just as big as our own military. A domestic drafted force of youth, which they've now been graduating and are now involved in warrant service, surveillance, uh, citizen spies under InfraGuard. And if we have a debate about it, they go, Alex Jones is crazy. He thinks there's thousands of armored vehicles, billions of bullets, and citizen spies. When you can go read, officially, that's been set up. Because, again, they're using another military tactic on us, knowing we're atomized, knowing we're all individuals. And so even if we know it's true, what organization do we fight through? That's why they hate InfoWars.com, because we're able to organize people. We're able to show you you're not alone. We're able to force this out and call them on their lies. It shows two things. Not enough people are involved as leaders. And it also shows how pathetically weak the globalists are. That my ham-fisted broadcast, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the New World Order, with a little help from our friends in the real media, are able to devastate the globalists, lower their approval ratings, and force major stories out in the open.
And who are the little help from our friends? Number one, you, the listeners. The sponsors of this broadcast, number two. Giants in media like DrudgeReport.com in, in true media. And George Norrie helping us out. And, and of Coast to Coast AM.com and so many others who love their children. Let me tell you, you know we're on an express elevator to hell. You know we're on a roller coaster going into a bad place. And if you don't get involved and realize that dangerous mega cartels have walked into America, bought off our government, run their own candidates for office, and are now trying to demonize states' rights and demonize patriots because we're the only opposition to them. But the truth is we have the moral authority. We have history on our side. We have the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, the law. I mean, they're now on CNN with FBI agents going, yeah, we're listening to everything you do. It's for your safety. That's a felony every time they do that. They are flaunting torture in your face, hoping they can normalize it. They are flaunting secret arrests in your face. They are flaunting martial law. They are flaunting military drills. They are flaunting the end of the Fourth and Fifth Amendment. They are flaunting warrantless checkpoints to try to get you to just roll over. You can do two things in a fight if you're cornered. Roll over, get in a fetal position, and kiss your butt goodbye. And most cowards take that route. Or you can charge up and turn it loose. And let me tell you something. Even if somebody is bigger and badder and meaner than you, when they're attacking you, they're not in the right. And they don't have the energy. And even if they're three times stronger than you and better trained than you, if you kick and bite and snap and poke and punch and just turn loose your human power, you will stomp their butt nine times out of ten. And even if they're the baddest guy in the world, I'm using the fight analogy, they're not going to want to mess with you a second time because they're going to get hurt bad. And it's the same thing with government. You roll over, you worship black uniforms, you worship tyranny, you go see movies, propaganda movies like Iron Man 3, where there's terrorists blowing everything up in a false flag to cover up, you know, uh, genetically engineered soldiers that are exploding. You go see that, and you know, Olympus has fallen, and, and, and this movie. All these movies about bombs going off in U.S. cities... Right as right before and right as it happens. It's all programmed. I've talked to the people in Hollywood, not just Hagman of the X-Files, who the CIA approached him with the plot of flying a hijacked jet in the World Trade Center to blame it on Al-Qaeda, who they run, and using a drill to make them stand down. Do you understand that? I mean, I, I see the PR rollout. Oh, they got a bunch of movies coming out about bombs going off all over America. Get ready that criminals love to brag and tell you what they're doing. And then you go fantasize that America still exists and that America's fighting Al-Qaeda. And, and, and you've got some guy out of the Middle East, the last Iron Man. He's fighting a guy from Russia. And the one before that, he's fighting, you know, terrorists in Afghanistan. And that's where he gets the Iron Man suit. It's all the same when in truth the globalist run al-Qaeda. The globalists are the equivalent of specter or chaos or cobra. They, they tell you in all the shows, they're laughing at you. They teach you the bad guys are this phantom group that nobody can stop that wear a mask because the government is the terrorist, because the government is a foreign banking combine that's attacking every country that wants every country enslaved, that wants every country authoritarian, because then they can come in and dominate and have top-down integrated systems of authoritarian command and control economy. So they can play God with your life. When we come back, I'm going to play the clip again and, and get to these quotes of Obama. You guys punch my computer up. I want to show people this image. This is up on Infowars.com right now. The image is up there on the site of Obama on a jumbotron at the Ohio Stadium, like something out of 1984, with tens of thousands of people there hearing that the government is what makes the grass grow, that the government is what organizes society. This is pure command and control collectivism from a guy run by Warren Buffett, whose wealth just increased 49% in one year, and who has a, just, uh, in fact, I'm going to dig the article back out. You guys put that Warren Buffett article back up there that has a, just a giant amount of cash 
And if you look it up, he got roughly $45 billion in 2008 of banker bailout money. Gee, why do you think Obama called for it as a senator? And in cash, ladies and gentlemen... Is it not my king time to spring the trap? No, we must desecrate the soul and the flesh of the creator's creation. The chain of life broken forever. A monument to our beauty. Ride like the one-eyed jack of diamonds with the devil close behind. We're gonna ride. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go over some of these uh, headlines. By the way, I have a correction to make. I was going off mental notes. And I just said Warren Buffett had a 49% increase in profits from taxpayer money mainly. By the way, that's in the AP and Reuters articles. A minor footnote. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, 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 I conflated and flipped the two numbers. Uh, will you guys punch this up here? Actually, my Bloomberg uh, article. Punch it up here on my screen. Berkshire Cash hits record $49.1 billion as profit climbs. So they've got an extra cash there. And then it's Berkshire profit rises 51%. Shares at record high. And Reuters says Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Inc. on Friday and quarterly profit rose nearly 51% on a solid performance in insurance. So they make you buy Obamacare now. He was the chief lobbyist for that. And by many of its other businesses, as well as gains from investments and derivatives. Guys, will you guys pull up Warren Buffett got bailout money? And, and, Let's see if my memory is correct. He got $44.5 billion. $44.5 billion. This is not a parlor trick. We're going off my memory here. Warren Buffett, just type in Warren Buffett for TV viewers, you'll see it. Warren Buffett got bailout money. And it was $44.5 bill. Now, now, that was round one. That was five years ago. Oh, don't worry. It's been lavish. So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All they could find was a newer one. I'm sorry. It's 150 billion. I'm sorry. But 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 wait wait. On that he got 44.5. Read the fine print. 44.5 bill. 44.5 bill. And he's up there going. My secretary makes pays more tax than me. <laughs> I want to raise your taxes, you schmucks, you sucker scum. By the way, I'm on a eugenics board that's been leaked on how we're going to jack you up with vaccines. I want you to eat that GMO corn, okay? Because I'm such a good man. Warren Buffett, champion of bailout, also leading beneficiary, McClatchy. Can you say dirtbag scum? You want to know why they're setting up police state? You want to know because they can't believe they've gotten away with these crimes. Warren Buffett, let's not exaggerate, is about 500 times worse than Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff stole around $100 billion in Ponzi schemes. But, uh, Warren Buffett is connected as a Rothschild Rockefeller agent on record to... A large portion, some estimates are a third, of the global two quadrillion. It was 1.5 quadrillion. I've been using that number for four years. I looked it up. It's estimated because they've increased derivatives over two quadrillion. Yeah. And you know what? The men in black uniforms are going to make sure you sign on to Too Big to Fail because it's designed to fail and make sure you go down with the ship while Warren Buffett's flying around in his jet. And that's what the whole grid and the spying and the torture is about, is to make sure you do what you're told. And the cops are all going to salute as their pension funds and guns are taken as well. Yes, sir, Warren Buffett, we bow to you because you got a red carpet.
Hi, Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources. With over 30 years of experience in the precious metals business, I can tell you without a doubt, we are facing the most dangerous and volatile times, not just in the United States, but worldwide. Peace of mind is gold and silver. Now is the time to invest in gold. When it comes to bullion coins, our prices are competitive and the closest to melt. If it's numismatics you're looking for, we have some of the best deals out there. Visit MidasResources.com today or go to Infowars.com and click on the link to see our daily specials. Here's an example of one of our long-term specials we've been offering for more than a year. Two silver dollars from the turn of the last century, plus two powerful films, The Obama Deception and The American Dream. We also add in the book Dishonest Money, all for $72 and free shipping. The most trusted name in precious metals is Midas Resources. Call 1-800-686-2237 or go to Infowars.com. I'm Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. We are now only entering the edge of a global financial superstorm, the likes of which the planet has never seen. Here in the United States, the private Federal Reserve is giving more than $85 billion of taxpayer money a month to themselves and other offshore foreign banks. And the worst part is, we have to pay the bank's interest on the money we give them. There is now a race between the global central bank mafia cartels to see who can devalue their country's currencies the fastest. We are already seeing big increases in inflation at the grocery store and the gas line. This will eventually lead to hyperinflation. More than a dozen top globalists like George Soros have been buying record amounts of gold while at the same time bad-mouthing it to the public. Don't just listen to what they say. Watch what they do. For more than 6,000 years of recorded human history, gold has been the ultimate hedge against uncertain times and inflation. Before investing in metals, it is important to do your own research and find a reputable company. Midas Resources has the highest Better Business Bureau rating of an A+. Unfortunately, very few precious metal companies can boast that. Midas Resources has assembled one of the most educated, researched, and professional teams of brokers in the industry. The evidence is overwhelming. In uncertain times, gold and silver is safe harbor. Now is the time to invest in gold. Call 800-686-2237 and Midas Resources will mail you 10 reasons to own gold absolutely free. No shipping. It's absolutely free. And finally, Ted Anderson wants to challenge you to find any deal that comes close to his two silver dollars at cost with free shipping with two free films and a book for $72. That's more than $160 value for $72 shipping included. Click the link at InfoWars.com to go to the MidasResources.com specials page. Brought to you by MidasResources.com and Ted Anderson the trusted name in precious metals. I can't wait to get Lou Rockwell on in the next segment. We've got an FBI agent saying what we already knew, that the government listens to every phone call uh, on CNN, just flaunting it in our face. Obama has doubled down on his you didn't build that quotes. Uh, he has come out and said that government uh, is basically what, what what generates, you know, um, most of the good things in society, telling a group of uh, college students who most of which will not be able to get jobs unless it is with the government. And they've already actuaried out how under this new system, we're all going to be poor except for them. Uh, Warren Buffett, that is the main beneficiary, uh, one of the main beneficiaries of banker bailout money. And again... Buffett also doesn't just want your money, he wants to bankrupt you and says you're living too high on the hog and having too many children. But you know, if you type in Warren Buffett's name, he's always almost seen with an ice cream cone to be non-threatening. I'm convinced if Hitler would have worn a pink uniform and, and held ice cream cones, if you type in Warren Buffett ice cream cone, there's literally hundreds of photos, ice cream, that, that we'd be under Hitlerian rule right now. If he said hope and change, for the children, I'm a loving liberal. And if they would have given him a Nobel Peace Prize, it would have been over. When he was attacking France, Russia, you name it. In fact, I nominate Adolf Hitler for the Peace Prize because I don't like Hitler, but to be clear, uh, oh, look, he's got an ice cream cone. He's not threatening. Sure, he gave 40 plus billion of taxpayer money he stole to eugenics operations because he loves you. Look at a nice old man. Nice old man. He's a nice old man. He's a nice old man. He's going to take good care of you and your family. 
up there in Lincoln, Nebraska. We all know what goes on up in Lincoln, Nebraska. Warren Buffett wants to take care of you and your family as he gets your, your taxpayer money, $150 billion of it, in one serving alone. We're going to go to Lou Rockwell and talk about that. And no wonder I'm an extremist against the bailouts. They say now... You know, first they admitted that it was your tax money to bail out foreign banks. Notice now when you hear the news, yeah, we're bankrupt because you're lazy, America. You're not working enough, and it's the people on welfare that did it. And I'm not for the welfare because it makes them dependent, and it makes them a voting block for government. But but these people are getting chicken feed compared to the two quadrillion. Oh, look, Obama. There's hundreds of photos of him with an ice cream. He's not threatening. See, they know that hits areas of your mind associated with childhood stuff. It's like, look, Obama's not threatening ice cream cone. Sure, he is arresting whistleblowers all over the country that report government crime at unprecedented levels. Sure, he's using al-Qaeda to attack Syria and other countries. Oh, look, there's Bill Gates with Warren Buffett and an ice cream cone. See, I mean, it's not threatening. It's ice cream, folks. And... and, and they talk to you like your children. When you go see movies like Iron Man and stuff, it's designed for children. Every show, America's good and America's fighting terrorists. And then you look at the real world, the people that run America run those terrorists in every case. Even the cases where it's a real crazy that attacks, you find out they have some MI6 or CIA or Mossad or French intelligence or German intelligence handler. And then when there's major bombings in Russia, it kept turning out that it was Putin people. They even caught, Moscow police caught Putin, FSB, planting bombs in a fourth building in 99. And they said, oh, you have to release us. It's real bombs, but it was part of a drill. Oh, see, now you know why they have drills. And I'm supposed to just sit here and be naive and go see Iron Man and sit there and just walk out and cry for America. It's like guys that go see Rocky and then, you know, walk out of the uh, Rocky movie and start a fight in the parking lot, get their butt kicked. I mean, it is imaginary. Notice they had Pearl Harbor come out right before 9-11. And Rand Corporation said there's about to be a terror attack on the order of Pearl Harbor. When there is, we'll radically transform America. And, of course, I also have the Sunday show, 4 to 6 p.m. We're hiring more reporters, more crew, uh, more journalists, more researchers. We are trying to pour every dime of support that comes into this operation in defense of our constitutional republic. We take it personal that these nasty authoritarians tell us we didn't paint our own oil painting. We didn't create a new engine. You didn't create a new song. You didn't learn how to play the guitar. Your mother and father didn't raise you. You didn't pay enough taxes on average, more than 55% of everything you earn. No. If you've got a business, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Well, now Obama, and this is up at Infowars.com, we're going to play the audio and video right now, has come out and said that government is not a tyranny and we shouldn't listen to the voices that say that. Like George Washington, like Thomas Jefferson. Last hour, I read a lot of their quotes about George Washington. Government is like fire, a dangerous servant and a fearsome master. Thomas Jefferson, same quotes, on and on and on. Our country was founded against this. Ronald Reagan, who didn't live up to what he said he'd do in many cases, but at least had rhetoric saying the most scary words in the English language. I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. I have run into in government more arrogant criminal people in my life than anybody else. And government's growing, 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 growing. It now spends, what is it, 60 percent of the GDP one way or another is going into government. And it's going to be more and more into the future. They've signed us on to two quadrillion now in derivatives. And look at the articles I showed last hour. We're going to Lou Rockwell. Berkshire Cash hits record $49.1 That's just their cash as profit climbs. And what does Reuters report their main profit was from? Derivatives and insurance. Making you buy insurance, the price doubling roughly in the last year. That's on record. Congressional Budget Office, the main lobbyist for the government-run health care, making you buy overpriced insurance. Then government tells doctors what care they can give to make sure your bill isn't too high. And who got $150 billion, $44 billion to himself in the first round of bailout? 
Reuters, please. McClatchy, please. Put it on screen. Warren Buffett. Who lobbies for higher taxes on you? I'm going to explain this to all the stupid socialists out there. It's right out of Atlas Shrugged. The big rich guys shut down one guy's railroad, so their railroad gets all the traffic. Same story. P uh, Keystone Pipeline. There it is. Warren Buffett on AIG. McClatchy. 150 billion bailout. <clears throat> that was 2008. I did the math. Do you know how much his group of companies has gotten in different Federal Reserve type bailouts? It's over $300 billion that you got to back up and pay for. There's McClatchy right there on screen. 300 billion smackers. Oh, you want to know why they want a tyranny in place? Because they know you may take America back and they're all going to go to jail. But you got to identify the tyranny first. And that's what Obama's scared of. To the original idea of big government is a tyranny. Out of control government is the ultimate threat. Big government is the plague. Infestation of government is the plague. Corruption within government, as Cicero said, 2,050-something years ago in Rome, their main historian, the rock star of his age. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.